Hello class! Welcome to today's math lesson. Today we're going to be looking at two different things. One is we're going to be counting backwards from 10. That is pretty easy. Let's do it right now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. I must feel like I should have blasted off or something. Hmm, I think that you should practice that today. You could even crouch down and then jump up when we get to zero. <gasps> Let's do that right now. Could you crouch down? Let's count backwards. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, blast off! Did you jump up? <gasps> oh, I think you should. Today, we're also going to be adding 1 to a number. Let's take a look at our math facts. 0 plus 1 is 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. And then we're right back to the beginning again. Let's take a closer look at both of these math concepts. Today we are counting from 10 to 0. Can you count backwards with me? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Let's try some plus 1 addition. We're going to use our number line. We're going to do 6 steps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Plus, how many more steps? 1. 6 plus 1 equals 7. Hmm, I have a question. What if our math fact looked a little bit different? What if it was 1 plus 6? Let's try it. 1. We move forward one place. Now we're going to move six places. One, two, three, four, five, six. One plus six equals seven. Oh, that was the same as six plus one. Did you know that it doesn't matter which order our numbers are in when we add one? Or when we add numbers together, they can be in any order. Let's look at this question. 4 plus 1. We're going to move our gem 4 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4. Plus 1 more. Boop. 4 plus 1 is 5. What if our question was 1 plus 4? Let's try it. We'll move our gem 1 space. 1. Plus 4 more. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 plus 4 is 5, and 4 plus 1 is 5. They're both the same. Let's try 9 plus 1. We're going to move our gem 9 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we're going to add 1 to it. 9 plus 1 more is 10. What if we tried 1 plus 9. Will it also be 10? Let's try it. 1 plus 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It is 10. It does not matter which order our numbers are in when we're adding. Did you notice that whenever we add plus 1, it's always the next number on the number line? 9 plus 1 is always just the next number. Hmm, let's test that. Let's try 7 plus 1. Let's not count at all. 
let's just put our gem on the number seven. If we add one to it, boop, it is just the next number in the number line. Seven plus one is eight. When we add plus one, our answer is going to be the next number on the number line. Let's practice this another way. Two plus one. Well, I'm gonna put two gems on this side plus one more gem. I can then count them. One, two, three. Two plus one is three. I wonder, is that just the next number on the number line? If I went to two, one, two, and if I added one more, it would just be the next number on the number line. In this question, eight plus one, we can put eight on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight plus how many? One. I'm gonna put one on this side. Eight plus one. Eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I wonder if it would just be the next number on our number line. Let's add eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus one more, one more jump. It is nine. Whenever we add one to a number, it's just the next number on our number line. Well, this question's pretty easy. Zero plus one. Here, I'm not gonna put anything. And on my other square, I'm gonna add plus one. Zero plus one is, well, that's one. We knew that one. What about on our number line? Is it just the next number when we add plus one? It is. Zero plus one is one. There's so many different ways to practice this. I would like for you to try. Friends, I am so glad that you came to practice math with me today. We practiced two different things. The first one was counting backwards from 10. Let's do that right now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Sometimes it's great to practice counting backwards. Why don't you practice counting backwards today? We also looked at adding one to a number. Let's go over those again. Zero plus one is one. Two plus one is three. Three plus one is four. Four plus one is five. Five plus one is six. Six plus one is seven. Seven plus one is eight. Eight plus one is nine. Nine plus one is 10. And then we're right back to the beginning again. Hmm, so there was one plus one fact that is not in our little stack, and that is one plus one. Do you know what one plus one is? It's two. We learned that math fact when we were studying our doubles. So you already knew that one. You can give yourself a little pat on the back for remembering it. Class, I am so glad that you came to review with me today. And I hope that you have a wonderful day, class. Bye-bye.